Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we are working on the budget build. So as you folks saw in the initial video, picked up this boat, we thought it could have been an aluminum vessel. We went and looked at it, quickly figured out it was a fiberglass vessel. Folks were asking 900 bucks for it. We talked them down a little bit and we ended up driving home with it. With all that said, if you take a look at the inside here, it has just been neglected for 13 years. There is inches of dirt in it. There's grime, mildew. There's all kinds of plant life living in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a, a real thorough scrubbing, real thorough cleaning, and preparation for paint. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to spray down this entire vessel with Tough Coat Cleaner and Degreaser. It is a heavy-duty cleaner and degreaser meant for use before painting. Um, so we're spraying the entire inside of the boat with the cleaner and degreaser here with a squirt bottle. And you can instantly see it is just melting away years of dirt and grime and mildew. It's doing a fantastic job. It made my life a lot easier because I could only imagine what this would have been like without using that cleaner and degreaser first. All right, let's take a look. Here's that tough coat cleaner and degreaser. It is really chewing into 13 years of dirt, grime, mildew, you name it, it was growing in here. And it's just working, it's chewing away. This is very impressive. So my plan is use the tough coat cleaner and degreaser on the inside here. I'll let that sit five minutes to see what it can do. As you can see, it's it's really working really well. And then because we're going to paint this boat, I'm going to use Pettit Bio Blue. Bio Blue is a water-based whole surface prep. It's basically a super scrub or a uh, super suds type of product. Soft scrub, that's the word I'm looking for, on steroids. It actually has a granule in there that will work and get whatever the cleaner and degreaser couldn't get up. But I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure that cleaner and degreaser didn't get everything up. I'm also going to do the outside of the boat too. But just wanted to give you guys a quick glimpse into how well that cleaner and degreaser is working. After I got done marveling at how, just how well that tough coat cleaner and degreaser worked, I started scrubbing away with the Pettit Bio Blue. And that was simply to get all the really deep buried in contamination, um, algae, mildew, um, on the back of the second seat there, there was all types of plant life growing. Um, and the cleaner and degreaser did a fantastic job overall, but there's just some things that just need to be scrubbed out. And that bio blue is like a soft scrub on steroids. And it does a really fantastic job taking care of whatever was remaining that the cleaner and degreaser couldn't get off. So using them in tandem really worked out really well. So you can see just I'm scrubbing, 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 and it's doing a fantastic job. It is de-waxing, it's etching, it's prepping the surface. So when I'm ready to paint, all I really have to do when I'm done with all this is wipe it down with our prep solvent after the prep solvent, I could go right into priming and painting. So the combination of the cleaner and degreaser and bio blue worked out extremely well. So what did we learn? She's probably in a bit rougher shape than initially expected. A lot of the dirt and grime was hiding a lot of exposed fiberglass where the gel coat wore off. But that's okay. That just makes prep a little easier. I would say that the tough coat cleaner and degreaser did a wonderful job. I probably went 
a little harder than I had to with the bio blue, but this thing was so filthy. I just wanted to make sure I really got all the, the dirt and grime and grease and oil and everything else that was in here. So the cleaner and degreaser did probably 95% of the work. Then I came through and I just did an overall scrub with the bio blue and the combination was just fantastic. This thing is spotless except for, you know, some miscellaneous rust stains from just some things they had in there over the years. Overall, I think it came out really good. Gave us a fantastic foundation. I think after seeing it now with all the exposed fiberglass, um, with the time constraints we have, I just don't see us using a high gloss topside paint or anything like that in here. I think the correct kind of course of action now is tough coat. Tough coat's a rubberized non-skid coating. Beautiful finish. Uh, it uses a adhesion primer. It's actually an epoxy adhesion primer. So that will help really bite into those exposed fiberglass areas. And with the combination of the tough coat top coat, will hide all the, a lot of the imperfections, but at the same time giving it a really nice finish on the inside. So there you have it. That's the inside with tough coat cleaner and degreaser and bio blue. And we'll be doing the outside next. All right, so that was the inside. Now we're gonna start working on the outside. I'm doing the same process. I am spraying the cleaner and degreaser on with a squirt bottle. And then I am coming back with the Scotch Bray pad and the Bio Blue. This is removing, like I said, I believe it's been 13 years since this boat's been in the water. So this is removing all types of, um, you know, mold and mildew, um, the loose paint that is flaking, um, pretty much anything that was sticking on the outside. This combination of the Cleaner and Degreaser and Bio Blue did a fantastic job. You can see. Um, where the bio blue was removing the, the flaking paint. And then right here, you can see the tough coat cleaner and degreaser just chewing into all that organic matter that is just living on the outside of this vessel. So doing the process again, it looks really good here. Uh, really well done, very thorough cleaning. There's just no doubt that the combination of those two products used together has got this boat really ready for paint. Um, very much looking forward to getting to the sanding portion of it and then getting to paint. So here's the after. The grease with tough coat cleaner and degreaser. Then scrubbed with Pettit Bio Blue to take off all the really caked on stuff. But again, the cleaner and degreaser did a really fantastic job. Getting down to a pretty clean substrate. Lots of sanding, and then paint. 